Yeah, hi, good morning, all of you. So today we'll see App Builder Certification Maintenance. App Builder Certification Maintenance. So here we have a two chapters, right? One is a multiple choice. The second one is a hands-on task. Got it. So first we'll see the multiple choice. Okay. So they given uh, this challenge. So here we have a uh, five questions. Let's see one by one. The first one. So what is the advantage of using a React to components in a screen flow? Got it. So in the real time, right? So the React, uh, the component React to changes in the other components on the real time. That is the first uh, advantage. Next. So what is the first step to provide the mobile users the same experience as the desktop users in the dynamic forms? What we have to do? So we need to enable the uh, dynamic forms in the uh, mobile. Next, so which feature allows to customization of knowledge content visibility rule? Which one? That is a article personalization. Article personalization. Next, so what are the two ways to add a quick actions on the related list? So either you can add it on a, a builder or a, in the page layout. Got it. So what is the default setting for link expiration of a public link in lightning experience so which one how many days that is a uh, 30 days so let me check this done so first challenge was completed first challenge was a uh, completed got it so then we can go for the second uh, a challenge let's see so in the second challenge uh, see okay so we need to create uh, a new playground we need to create a, a new playground just you can go here create a new ground so what is this app a builder maintenance app builder maintenance click on the create so the back end uh, this one is creating now come here okay so create a quick action on the case right in the case object we need to create a quick action what was the action name? That is update status. What was the label change status? So what type of action we are going to update a record? Got it. What was the success matches? Status updated successful, right? So these four points uh, comes under case. Add status field on a action layout. Add status field on action layout. Next, add a update status quick action to case related list in the contact layout in the contact layout so we need to add this right next so view all cases related to the contact stella right so in case related list so mass select all the cases and the state status to the closed set the status to the closed right so once it is closed you are able to see this a uh, message right so that's enough right Okay, so like this, you have to select uh, the multiple records, then update contacts, right? Automatically, a system will show uh, that message. So it's created? No, still. We need to wait. Okay, so done. So here we have a launch option is in a click on that uh, launch. So launch your playground so what was the playground you created just you can launch that okay so now what we have to do so we need to create we need to create a, an action on a case object got it so go here open the case object click on the setup click on the setup in the object manager in the object manager to so type a case type a case so here this is the case object open the case object next so here we have buttons links and action buttons links and action click on the uh, buttons links and actions next see here the right side new button or link or new action so we need to select the new action. Got it. So click on this uh, new action. 
click on this uh, new action. So what was the action type? What was the action type? Update a record, right? Now you can come here, select the action type as a update a record. What was the standard label type? What was the standard label type? That is a change status, right? Now you can come here, select a change status. Next. So what was the name? What was the action name? That is a update status. That is a update a status. The description, they didn't give a description, leave it. Then after the success, a message See here, the status updated successfully. Status updated successfully. Then click on here, save. So we created a new action. We created a, a new action. Got it. Next. So see here, contact name, status, subject, description. Done. Everything is good. Now come here. See. So add, add update status of quick action related to the contact layout. Now you can go here, the contact object. Go here, object manager. Now let's open the contact. Contact, contact. This is a contact. Go here, contacts. And here we have a page layouts. Later, in the contact layout, in the contact layout, in the contact layout. So go here, a related list, a related list. This is the case, right? In the case object, here we have properties, is then a case properties. Click on this. See here in the bottom, we have buttons, buttons. Click on this plus sign. See what we have to do. So we need to add the change status button. Got it. In the page layout, the related list case, here we have a setting. So range symbol is then I click on that. So then you will get this. In the bottom, we have buttons. Click on the plus sign. Then you can add the change status. Right under the quick actions, you to add the change status. Then click on here. Okay. Then click on here. Okay. Done. Right. So next. So next, what we have? So view all cases related to the contact Stella. Right. In the case related list. Right. The contact Stella. Right. So go here, the contact object. here the contacts click on the contacts to so find out the uh, stella find out the uh, stella's uh, record so here we have a search search option is there just you can type it find out uh, stella so now come here here you have to select uh, all contacts in the all contacts find out the uh, stella I we don't have a Stella here. All contacts. Okay, so here we have Stella, right? Just you can open. Now you can go here cases, right? Related cases. Am I right? The related cases. Here we have a cases is there now. Got it. A related cases. We need to open all the cases, not a single one, all the cases, right? Because here we have uh, all the cases, mass select, right? So click on the cases, see here. No need to select the single record. Just you can click on here. We have four cases, is there Click on the cases. Now you can select uh, all the options here. Why we are not getting here? Here we need to get that. Here we need to get that updated question. It goes.
go to contact the contact page layout contact layout have a quick action here we have update right now now you can add this uh, update update contact got it so then click on here save i think we save this save it now you can come here refresh the page No, your contact here. Select the related list settings. We need to add it. Add it. Click on OK, and we need to save it. We forget to save button there, right? Then now come here, refresh the page. Now we got a change status right so now you can select all this and click on here change a status see what was the status we need to update that is a closed that is a closed come here the status will be closed click on here save click on here okay you will get the pop-up status updated successfully right now come here see here so we got a a state success message status updated successfully now you can check this challenge click on uh, check this uh, challenge so done so we completed a uh, app builder maintenance right uh, so what was the key points here? What was the key points? The first one. Go to case object. Step one. Go to case object. Got it. So click on this uh, buttons, links, and actions. Right. Uh, you need to create a new action. New action. Got it. So what was the action name? That is a change status. Got it. Open this. You will get uh, options. These options. Action type is update a record, standard label, change status, name, the description, and success message. Done. So this is the first step. Next, what was the second step? Go to contact. Go to contact. In the contact, go to page layouts. In the contact page layouts, in the contact page layout, select the related list. In the related list, under the cases, the properties, here we have buttons option is in the bottom. Click on that plus sign. Here you need to add the change status to the right side. Right. So once you created an action, so availability actions that uh, whatever the action you created, uh, change status will be available in the first box. You need to add to the second box. That's enough. Click on here. OK. Then save it. The next step. Uh, so not in the object manager now open the object the contact go here contact go here contact select all contacts here select all contacts whatever the contacts we have select all contacts so open the stella so they already mentioned got it so they already mentioned you have to open the a stella a record right open the a stella record then in the cases just to click on this case name no need to open this individual right we need to do the bulk operation right click on these cases next select all those things so here already changed right so click on here change status then you can select closed and then click on here save save done see here it will be updated success then after you can check your challenge. Got it? Right. So thanks for watching. Bye.